James Arnold Taylor here with a very special presentation on the Jat Channel. I am here with Tops. You, you know Tops from everything from sports to Star Wars cards. And Mark Von Olen is my special guest here at the Jat Channel. Mark, how are you doing today, first off? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I am so excited. You guys are in New York City, is that right? That's right, we're down in the financial district. Oh my goodness, and, and here we are in Los Angeles. We are doing the whole, like, you know, all over the place, we're wired in to talk about a very special, very important thing. Not just my return to signing with Tops, which has been over 10 years now, is that right? Is that yeah, right? just about. And, when, we were, yeah. when we were doing Clone Wars sets when the show was on the air. That's right. First off, let, let's talk about Stellar. If I say the word Stella to you as Obi-Wan Kenobi, what do you say, Mark? Well, it's extra special if you do it in the Obi-Wan voice, so first <laughs> off. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, Stellar Signatures is our first ever luxury release for a top Star Wars product. Um, a long time in the making. For anyone who might not know, if you're new to Star Wars trading cards, uh, Topps has actually had the license for 40 years. We've been there since the very beginning. Yeah. Um, and so this is our first foray into something really for that collector who's probably been around for 40 years, mm -hmm. um, who's got a uh, little extra money and like to collect something very special and interesting and different. Yes. Um, and it's one of the reasons we actually particularly chased you down, James. Um, we wanted Obi-Wan in the set along with our heaviest hitters from the movies and everything. Uh, so this is a autograph-only collector set, and it's just autographs. There's no base cards, there's no inserts, there's nothing else, and it's just our uh, top 40 signers from across the entire saga. So wow. you're in good company. Yeah, 40 different signers. I, I, and is it okay to say some of these names here? Like uh, Yeah. Uh, there, it's some exciting stuff. Do you know, you know who's in there, right? I do, you but I, I didn't know if I could start saying names. Uh, Daisy Ridley, right? I yeah. mean, that, that alone is very exciting. Felicity Jones, Forrest Whitaker, Alan Tudyk, one of my favorite actors, just such a brilliant actor, and uh, Carrie Fisher, Billy D. Williams, Freddie Prince Jr., Freddie. Yeah. Oh and my um, his wife, Sarah Michelle Gellar, better known as Buffy the Vampire Slayer, <laughs> yes. making her debut in that set. So um, it's a family affair. <laughs> There's also some other very special ones that are uh, special to me in the Clone Wars world. Um, uh, Ashley Eckstein, yes. Yep. But Tim Curry. Tim Curry, what a fantastic actor. And of course, Tim came in to voice Palpatine in the Clone Wars in the last uh, couple seasons there, the last, uh, because Ian Abercrombie, who was just a fantastic actor and a dear friend to all of us at the Clone Wars, he was he wasn't the emperor he was he was sweet sweet palpatine to us and we were all clouded by his goodness but uh he was such a dear man and when he passed away it's like how do you replace this and and what do you do as a voice for palpatine well tim curry who is voiceover and on camera royalty came in and just did a magnificent job and you have him as a first time signer yeah uh, he is legendary i mean you couldn't have done a better job giving him um the introduction he rightfully deserves. I think everyone knows Tim Curry from a different movie too, so <laughs> you kind of ask people what do they love best about Tim Curry and you're going to get a hundred different answers. Yeah, that's um, yeah. He, he was a great get and someone we were really excited to throw in there as a big surprise. So when we revealed him, a lot of people didn't even know that Tim Curry had been in The Clone Wars because right. I believe it's only six or seven episodes. Yeah, um, but yeah, he, he, only he really came in and made that role his own without trying to mimic Ian or the other Ian. He didn't yes. mimic Ian or Ian and he kind of <laughs> made it his own. That's right. And he did a wonderful job. There's a quick story. I don't know if you've heard this one before, but I'm in there and I'm voicing um, some pickup lines and I'm in there for about a half an hour and I'm looking through the glass with where Dave Filoni is and Tim Curry is sitting there the entire time watching me track these lines. And I'm just like getting nervous, you know, and I go that in. That would have made me very nervous. <laughs> and I, I say, sir, it's such a pleasure. And he, he says, the pleasure's all mine. And what a joy to watch it. He was he was so gracious and kind and, and lovely to all of us on the Clone Wars. And he, as you said, he did a beautiful job of making the character mm. his own. So how exciting is it that he is on this stellar, stellar package of, and so there is, there's, you say, a hundred boxes? Yep, it's super limited. It's only a hundred boxes. Um, and only 40 autograph signers. And within each box, you're going to be guaranteed a what we call a one of one parallel. Yeah, meaning there'll be a different uh, execution okay. of the card, a different color or whatever. So uh, we've got a black parallel, an orange, there's a red, and then there are all these other different colors to collect that are sequentially numbered out of uh, 10, 25. Uh, we end at 40 uh, for the 40th anniversary. Man. So um, it's a nice mix. Um, every box will give you something really special and interesting to chase. 
Absolutely. This is this is something that everybody wants to be watching, and and they should always they can always go to tops uh, your website. But the, I know you have another one for Star Wars Authentics that we'll talk about as well. But yep. um, this is stuff that people got to be watching, and that's why we wanted to let people know about it. But there's there's so many other things to talk about here, Mark. We got. Journey to the Last Jedi, right? <laughs> I mean, that, we, that's the big one right now. Everyone's counting down to December. <laughs> but, but before that, we had Journey to the Force Awakens as well. Yeah. And, and you, you have been so kind to send me some very cool things here. I'm holding up all these. You know, these cards, we'll talk about these in a second. These are the, you know, original. They're so exciting for me because I have been collecting these from mm -hmm. day one. And uh, I, I wish I had broken out mine, but they're all like encased. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, all my original Star Wars cards, but maybe the next time we do one of these, I'll have them ready for you to show you my, my cards. Oh, I'd I love to see your collection. That would be, that would be a great uh, video okay. to show everyone what's what's in James Arnold Taylor's <laughs> card collection. That's need, right. Uh, inquiring minds want to know. That's okay. But so tell us about, you know, all of these wonderful, so Journey of the Force Awakens as well. This was a, this was a very cool collection and that's still available and, and, and such as well, right? Well, so we started with uh, Journey to the Force Awakens back in 2015 and decided with all these new fans coming into the franchise with the new trilogy launching and JJ taking over we've got to remind people like what was done before and get people up to speed and sort of explain um, where we've been and then kind of show them where we're going mm -hmm. so Disney created the moniker journey to um, and so that's been our product theme for the journey to the force awakens we sort of did a journey product before Rogue One and now we've got another one for the last Jedi so with everyone in countdown mode to episode 8 as they ask the questions like, who is Snoke? Um, yeah. We don't know yet, by the way, and so, so don't ask <laughs> us. But we've got um, images and scenes from the film, the trailer grabs, and all sorts of fun artwork from episode eight built into this journey set. Um, and we also structured uh, the base card set to sort of give you an idea of like what you might expect in episode eight structure-wise. So there's a summary of The Force Awakens to just get you up to speed to know what comes next. And then there are three sections to the story. One is all about Jedi training, which we expect Rey and Luke are going to do together. Right. Um, there's a side adventure uh, for Finn and Rose. So we've got sort of a hero's journey component uh, to that storyline as well. And then there's also this idea that between Leia, Holdo, and Poe, um, keeping the resistance intact. So we do a summary of the Rebel Alliance and how they became the Resistance over the course of the several movies. So you'll get all that information in the trading card set, so you'll feel like right up to speed when you're ready to buy your movie ticket for Episode Eight. It is so exciting. You know, there's something magical about trading cards. And, you know, obviously you all um, would agree more than anybody, but I just know as a kid holding these cards that have, you know, with the info on the back, and the, the look that you've done in, in these ones of recreating the original uh, 1977 Star Wars trading cards is just awesome. And the ones I'm holding here are special to me because you got Clone Wars ones. You were so kind to send me some of these. Um, and I, I, I love all this that you sent and I think we'll have to do some giveaways here at the Jat channel uh, to Absolutely. help you know, spread the word and to get people excited about all this that is, that is going on with it. But how, you know, how cool is that for you guys to remake these cards like that too? Is that pretty fun? Uh, you know, it's a blast. And I can tell you whenever we go to conventions and we talk to fans or we get messages on our Facebook page, uh, people can't seem to get enough of the blue Starfield design from 1977. Right. Um, it has right. become like the prototype. And if you Google just Star Wars trading card, it is the, all the hits that you'll get are, yeah. are sort of blue Starfield design. Yeah. Um, and it just brings people back to that very first film and feeling like a kid and collecting the cards. Um, so, of course, I have them from when I was younger right. um, and all right. the subsequent sets. But we probably do one set a year in the blue Starfield design because it is, it is that highly demanded from our fans. That's awesome. Well, I, they're just exciting to me. And I know, you know, from working in the world of Star Wars all these years, it's been like 16 years now, but being able to uh, be so humbled to be able to host all these events and talk with pretty much everybody in the world of Star Wars, these cards get all of the people involved excited too, you know I mean? And I can't tell you how many times I've been on set where people have had them and they're like, oh, aren't they cool? They're, they're still just, it's just a magical thing, you know, and it takes you back to another time uh, for, for all of us that have experienced Star Wars from the beginning. You know, I'm, I'm a much older man than you, Mark. And so, <laughs> but uh, now I am old Ben, but, <laughs> but so let's talk about some other products that are coming out later this year, like Star Wars Masterwork. 
Yep, uh, Star Wars Masterwork is a really exciting set. Um, I, I can't wait to send you some samples when we go to print. Yeah. Uh, they yeah. are, for any of our fans who know the product already, they're super ultra-thick cards, um, not that dissimilar to what you're signing for Stellar. I was um, going to say, for to Stellar. Stellar, yeah. And we include autographs, sketch cards. We actually have some new, what we call relics, which are type of memorabilia pieces. Okay. In this set, for the first time, we actually have animation cells from the original Ewoks and Droids cartoons from really? the 80s that oh, we're able to insert into cards. How crazy is that? That's fantastic. Because they're not even canon anymore. <laughs> like we, oh my God, we, we thankfully, Lucasfilm was very generous in allowing us to use these, um, but they're super cool and I can't wait for the fans to see them. Yeah, you've got 50 different signers, including some numerous uh, new signers, right? And, and some great new signers, a lot of them from Rogue One. Um, a lot of people who are back from having signed earlier with, uh, from Rogue One, like Felicity Jones and yeah. Forrest Whitaker, Alan Tudyk. Right. Um, but then some Clone Wars folks too. Ashley and Steven Stanton, Sam Witwer, Tom Kane, Adrian right. Wilkinson and Lloyd Shear. You know, that is so cool that you've got them because of course the, the father, the daughter and Sam, the son. Yeah, uh, in the Mortis arc, some of my favorite stuff. Uh, so that's really cool that you have them there too. That's, that's pretty unique. I love the Mortis arc. It's actually my favorite four episodes of Clone Wars. Is that right? Um, oh. And oh. Uh, we specifically chased down Lloyd and Adrian for that reason. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. Sam's been with us for a couple of years, and we've been really fortunate that Sam has signed as Darth Maul for us. Right. And he signed right. as the Mortis son. And we actually also had him sign as the Emperor. We were able to squeeze him in right. uh, from his right. one episode arc as the Emperor and Rebels. Rebels, yeah. Um, yeah. And so then we got Adrian and Lloyd, and we felt like we needed the whole Mortis family represented in this product. So you'll you'll find all three of them, along with all the other Clone Wars family members that you had mentioned, and maybe a few other surprises coming. Oh, that's so cool. Well, and it's so great. You know, uh, and I thank you very much, first off, for being a... a person that watches Clone Wars conversations, and we, Sam and I talked a lot about this, but the Mortis arc is one of my favorites as well because just the fondest memories in the studio when we were recording those. And Lloyd and I go way back, uh, probably 20 plus years as friends in voiceover. And so for him to come in and be a part of the Star Wars family and doing the voice of the father, and he did such a great job. It was so fun. We just had such a blast uh, in, in the studio doing those. And uh, when we talked to Ashley Eckstein coming up, there's a little hint uh, for Clone Wars Conversations. We're gonna definitely talk about that because I know it was one of her favorites as well. So I love to hear oh, about yeah. I can't wait to hear what Ashley has to say about it because I know she's not allowed to give away anything coming, but yeah. with the arc that her character has taken yeah. that I think kind of starts with Mortis and didn't quite end with Twilight of the Apprentice, it's, you know, where are we going from here? Yeah. Um, with, and, you know, with Dave wearing his Ahsoka Live shirt, it's, he's killing me. So I don't know <laughs> if you can get Filoni on the show and get him to divulge any, you know, real info, but um, that would be my number one demand. <laughs> <laughs> well, indeed. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You know, we'll see. Dave's so busy with so many things. And, uh, you know, he's sometimes he's in L.A., sometimes he's not. A lot of people ask, you know, will he be on Clone Wars Conversations? I certainly would love to have him on. I'm sure he'd love to be on. It's just a matter of, of timing. Ashley alone is just like, it's is like we're trying to bring the planets together to get it to where she can yep. actually come in. But she is set up to record an episode soon. But uh, let's That's fantastic. talk about uh, jumping for a second over to high tech. If I say high tech, that means so many things to different people, but at tops, high tech means. So high tech is our plastic product. Um, if you're a fan of baseball, for any of the baseball fans out there, uh, we've been doing high tech baseball for a few years now, and it's uh, plastic acetate technology. Um, the cards are uh, beautiful in execution, and I'll send you some pictures. They've got really fun parallels and patterns and colors to chase. And we do all of the autographs um, right on right on card. Um, and it's got a wide list of signers. So with high tech baseball being so interesting and colorful and different and fun patterns to chase, it just fe it felt like a natural fit for Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, so we're now doing our third iteration already. We launched the first Star Wars high tech in 2015. We did one last year that featured a lot of Force Awakens characters. And then for 2017, uh, half the form is Rogue One, mm -hmm. and the other half is uh, characters from across the saga. So it's going to be a really fun one to see all these Rogue One characters for the first time on um, this new technology. Absolutely. And, and you know, Mark, I I'd love to kind of uh, talk about this in that when we say authentics, too, you are all now the official license for Star Wars merchandise. That's why, because people will be going, wow, how do they have access to all of this stuff now? This right. is a, this is a wonderful thing. It's been going on for, for a while now. And Star Wars Celebration, the last celebration, was really kind of 
uh, the, the, the big coming out party for this, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah, so we're, we're very lucky, you know, like I mentioned at Tops, we've had the license for trading cards and collectibles since 77, uh, but we actually just expanded our contract to include um, official photos and autographed memorabilia as of about a year ago. So we picked up uh, this portion of the contract and we're now able to represent talent and bring them to shows and have them sign autographs. Uh, so celebration, we had about 40 people there, um, everyone from Mark Hamill, Felicity Jones, Sarah Michelle Gellar, and Freddie Prinze, lots of Clone Wars and Rebels people. The Rebels cast killed it, by the way. Like, yeah. their line did not go away the entire time. <laughs> Them and Jeremy Bullock, there would still be people waiting in line. Oh, um, Jeremy, so yes. <laughs> you know, they, they, it was a fantastic show. We had um, autographs and photo ops. And the thing that really differentiates what we're doing with autographs versus uh, prior competitors or whoever is that it's a partnership with Major League Baseball. So, you know, Topps has been in the baseball business forever. Right. Um, we have a really close relationship with MLB. They have an arm of their business called Authenticators, Inc., um, that their whole mission is to wipe out fraud in the marketplace. Oh, so right. when you came to Celebration and you got an autograph from Mark Hamill or whoever it might have been, um, as he signs the autograph, I'm, I'm doing this with my hands as if you can see, <laughs> as he signs the autograph, there's someone um, sitting next to him called an authenticator who puts a hologram onto the picture. Um, wow. That hologram has a serial number. You're then able to trace uh, who signed it, when it was signed, and who the authenticator is. And the wow. authenticator is someone with years and years of law enforcement experience and someone who's paid to sit there and watch and make sure it's legitimate. You know, Mark, I think that that is fantastic. It is so important to collectors. It's certainly important to me as, as a signer, you know, because uh, Mark Hamill, especially, Mark has had, you know, such a time with people going, oh, is this your signature? Is this not your signature? And he, he just desperately wants fans to be able to have his actual signature when he signs. It's important to all of us. So what a cool process. And of course, can't be bad for the person that has to sit there all day and authenticate with, with someone like Mark, who's just a fantastically funny guy as well. So Yeah, no, the authentication gig is pretty sweet. That sounds pretty fantastic to sit there next to like Riz Ahmed or someone really fun and just, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, ensure the autographs are real. And honestly, Top's mission statement um, is really to make sure that collectors are getting authentic autographs and memorabilia. We want all the fans to be happy and to make sure that there isn't anything fraudulent happening in the marketplace. Yeah, that's so important. I thank you all at Tops for doing that because it really means a lot to all of us that are signing as well. So, you know, I'm just so excited. I'm going to be uh, taking everybody behind the scenes as I sign the Stellar uh, cards. And they're just beautiful cards. I just like, I don't even want to touch them. They look so great. <laughs> <laughs> thank but, you. Uh, yeah, we're really proud of that set. And we're thrilled to have you back. Oh. It's a very exciting. This, this is a great set to debut in because it's going to be highly sought after. It absolutely is. And, and you know, there's some other cool things, though, too, I wanted to touch on. One of my favorite people in the voiceover world is Dee Bradley Baker. Dee has mm -hmm. been signing for you for, for many years, but he's going to be doing some special stuff because he's got some new signings for, for Masterwork and High Tech as well, right? That's right. So the cool thing about the voice actors is that they often do multiple characters. Uh, so right now, James, we have you as Obi-Wan. Eventually, we'll have to get you in as Plo Koon. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. D. Bradley Baker, because he does an array of voices, um, we've mostly had him sign as Rex, because it's his most famous character, I would sure. say. Yep. Um, but we're going to have him sign as Admiral Trench for Star Wars Masterwork, which is like a little bit, a little bit of a deep cut um, yeah. for everyone out there. So everyone do your Google search and yield that character image. Yeah. Um, and we've yeah. been doing that with a few of the characters. Um, Kath Susie, for example, who I know is someone you're very fond of. I yes. love her myself. Yeah. Um, we actually got her in for the first time as Minister Tua from Rebels and then went back and got her to sign as Mon Mothma from The Clone Wars. Oh, so we're able awesome. to do things like that where the voice actors, if they have multiple roles, we can have them sign as different characters, give the collector something different to chase. Yeah, absolutely. It's it. Collectors are fanatical about you know getting every single voice and character and such whenever they can. So I think that's just so fun. It really is just fun, and that's the whole thing about. I think the mission that I've always thought of with Tops is it's fun stuff. It, yes, it's yep. a collectible. It means something, and it it means something. I think in the heart. You know what I mean? Because it, it's like the closest way you can get to either that sports figure or this moment from Star Wars. It, it's such a great way to have that, but it means something to all of us. So I just think it's fun stuff, and I'm so so happy to be uh, signing with y'all on this. And <clears throat> you know, Clone Wars conversations we talked about. You know, this is how we. I thought, oh, it'd be fun if we did a video, uh, because you know, obviously you're a Clone Wars fan, and I appreciate that so much about you, Mark. But I have to ask you. You you've been watching the show. Is there anybody you'd really love to see on Clone Wars conversations? Oh, I've got a list. Um, <laughs> well, I, I, well, thank you. I really am a fan of the show. I think it's fantastic. Um, my number one request at the moment would be Nika Futterman. 
um, as Asajj Ventress. Uh, yes. She's, I think, your best rivalry, and there are some great rivalries. You know, you've got um, you've got Obi Wan versus Darth Maul. Sure. Uh, but I think sure. Obi Wan versus Asajj is my favorite. And just being able to hear her say Kenobi in her <laughs> sort of trademark voice, I can't do it. Kenobi. She's got oh. this like amazing. Oh. I, I'm, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that moment. <laughs> okay, well, not to disappoint you, and I haven't really announced this anywhere, Nika will be on Clone Wars Conversations. We don't have a set date yet. But Excellent. Well, I'm going to take full credit for that you with should. everyone I know. So. <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely should. You know, my favorite, I mean, because before we ever knew about the Duchess, um, we didn't, we had, we had Obi-Wan and Ventress. So before mm -hmm. Obi and, and the Duchess, there was Obi and Ventress in the Clone Wars movie, of course, and we had so much fun there. And I always said that Nika brought me up to another level as an actor because she is so great and it just flows from her so easily. But we've known each other for forever as well. We've played everything from brother and sister to boyfriend and girlfriend as different cartoon characters. So to play Obi-Wan and Ventress for all those years on the Clone Wars was so great because we always had so much fun. And her character is just brilliant. It's the one thing I still desperately wish we could we could see more of Ventress's story mm -hmm. in Rebels or some other iteration somewhere. Because yeah, I'm looking for a Rebels episode. Yeah, we need some exactly. resolution there. Yeah, absolutely. So, so Nika, not to fear, my friend, right. Nika Futterman, Ventress will be on Clone Wars Conversations. You know that Excellent. Nika, I don't know if you know this about Mar uh, Mark, about Nika. She is, uh, of course, a fantastic voice actress. She's a mom, but she's also a professional poker player. Hmm, and interesting. So the toughest thing has been scheduling, getting her into the studio here to shoot around her poker playing schedule. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I could see that, you know, giving a good bluff. That that feels right on, very almost villainous. Yeah. playing cards with, with Ventress? <laughs> That's a poker game. You gotta get her, Jim yeah. Cummings, yeah. maybe yeah. D, just for the comedy relief. That yeah. That's a poker game that I'd watch. You should do a poker channel now. You, you've done it, now you've done it. <laughs> but we have to be playing with Topps cards, you know? Oh, there we go. All right, uh, product integration approved. That's right. <laughs> and and when she comes in, we'll have to have her and I set, sign some cards or something. That would really be fun. We want to oh, send you amazing. all some special ones. I would want to send some to you specifically uh, as a thank you too. So, Mark von Olsen, so I cannot thank you enough for taking the time with me here across the uh, the, the the country. Here, you're in New York. I'm here in Los Angeles, and, and we're talking all about this fantastic new stuff from uh, from Tops. New products coming out. We got Stellar coming out. I'm going to take everybody behind the scenes now and show them me signing those cards. And we're going to come up with some giveaways for all the fantastic stuff you have sent me. So, uh, thank Excellent. you so much. Is there any any last words you want to say to all the folks here at the Jat Channel? Well, just wanted to say thank you so much um, to you, James, for um, uh, coming back on board and signing with us. We're thrilled to have you. And for all your fans, um, be sure to be on the lookout for some upcoming products from us. Journey to Star Wars The Last Jedi is in stores now. Star Wars Masterworks coming out a little bit later this year. And you'll see um, Obi-Wan Kenobi's return in uh, Stellar Signatures a little bit later this year as well. So just want to say thank you again for having me. This was a lot of fun. So much fun. Everybody check out, oh, StarWarsAuthentics.com as well, right? That's right. And um, check out StarWarsAuthentics.com for all your autographed uh, photo needs. Um, makes for a great gift during the holiday season. Absolutely. All right. Well, Mark, I thank you so much. And of course, you know, the force is strong with all of you there at Tops. But I would be remiss if I didn't say the force will be with you. Always. Thank you. And also with you. <laughs> all right. Take care, Mark. Please consider subscribing to the JAT channel and watch for an upcoming signing and unboxing video of the new Top Stellar cards.